Hey garden family, it's your girl Miss Craft and I think it's time for an upgrade. Our uh, plants have sprouted and I would like to show you their next steps in setting up your cracky garden. We're gonna mix up some hydroponic solutions and give these guys a new home. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, here we go. Um, I first I have to apologize. I am way, way, way behind on getting this done. Uh, I've been working on a really special project for you guys and um, it's taken up a little bit of my time. But we are here now and I want to show you what to do next with your um, cracky pots. Um, as you can see, I, I grabbed a few of them. Um, I didn't grab them all, but my peas did really well so far. See the nice roots there, all right? And um, my cucumbers have done really well. See the roots on that going down. Um, if you're wondering what this is, it's just the uh, cocoa core that fell through the cracks there. Um, then one of my lettuces that I'm showing off here. Now two sprang so far and I have one lone root <laughs> coming out, but I do have some kind of trying to peek out, I'm trying to see if you can see if it focus there, I'm trying to peek out a little bit on the sides there. Um, I do get, I did, excuse me, get two to spring up. So I'm gonna see if I can um, pull this one out and replant it without breaking the root. If I can't, well, it's a baby green. Then it's gonna go in my salad. And then if I can, great, I could probably get another head of lettuce. So that's those. Um, the other ones are still in the trays waiting for me to um, set their jars up, <laughs> which I'm gonna show you how to do now. Um, first you need a gallon of water, which I have here. Then you're gonna need your nutrients now. I do use Fox Farms. Um, they, they, um, they have several um, liquid fertilizers that I tend to like to use. Um, the first one is the hydroponic grow big here. And this is the one I like to start with um, when I switch them over from water to a um, nutrient rich uh, liquid. I don't want to shock them. So I, I start with this one here. And then later on, um, I graduate up to the uh, Fox Farm normal uh, liquid plant food that they know. If you notice the difference here, <clears throat> um, the hydroponic is a 326, whereas the uh, regular Grow Big is a 646, 644. Right, so it's a little heavier in the potassium, oh, excuse me, in the, in the phosphorus. <laughs> so that's why I go second with this. So I start with this, go with that later on. Um, I also add their um, Big Bloom, which is more of an organic um, post jump thing. <laughs> it's the only way I can explain it. It's uh, concentrated, has um, earthworm castings in it and bat guano. Um, I'm sure they wanted to put fish emulsion in here, but it would stink to high heaven. So. <laughs> So this is just an organic um, uh, booster, if you will, that I put into this uh, mix as well. Um, so I start out with those, those two. And then I also add a calcium magnesium um, supplement here, CalMac. Now this can be easily be substituted with um, Epsom salt and you can make your own calcium liquid by using um, like Tums, you know, antacids, they have calcium in there, so you can make your own if you want it to. Um, but this also has some iron in it as well, so that helps it helps um, with plant development as well. So that's the reason why I like it, and you can see it's a small container, but it lasts me forever, and you'll see why when I actually put this mix together. And one more I wanna show you, which will come much, much later, <coughs> Fox Farms has a blooming 
um, mixture. So when your plants actually go into bloom, so when you're talking about your peppers and tomatoes and, and, and in this case, my cucumbers, when they actually go to flower, I'm gonna change their nutrients to this here, tiger bloom. And that's gonna be supportive of the flowers here. As you notice, the, um, the mix here is 284. The uh, phosphorus is really high here. Okay, so that's um, what I use. And now I'm gonna show you how I mix it up. Let me just move these out the way so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I got my little gallon jug here. I put two teaspoons of the uh, grow big in my water. And I cannot for the life of me find my teaspoon measuring spoon. So we're gonna have to use the half. <laughs> So, uh, matter of fact, let me shake it a little bit more. It's been a minute, so shake it up really good. Shake, 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 shake. And we use, there, oops, I'm gonna put one. And why I'm doing this with my left hand, I don't know, since I'm right-handed. <laughs> and two, that's one teaspoon. Making a mess. Uh, and that's two teaspoons. There we go. And then I add one tablespoon of the Big Bloom supplement. So I do have that. So we're going to add. And if you know anything, what fish emulsion or any of those other kind of liquid uh, organic things look like. Matter of fact, I need to shake this up some more. Um, it's a brown solution. But as you know, um, plants love this stuff. But it does not smell, so you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, it's kind of thick because it's been sitting there a little bit. But yeah. There we go. So we put a tablespoon of that in there. Yum, yum, ew. <laughs> we got that. And we have to add a little water in there. Thin that out, but you know, that's the good stuff. So set that to one side. And then I add one teaspoon of the, sorry. One teaspoon of the uh, cow mag. So this is one half. And this is the other half. Oops. Okay, one teaspoon. And then I clean up behind myself. <laughs> Get a paper towel. Wipe the table down. And then we're gonna give this jug a shake. Until we see it all mixed up in there nice and pretty. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And it will look something like that when it's all said and done. Nice, nice sperm tea going on here. Um, so the next thing you do is get your um, mason jar or whatever container you want to um, put your plant in. Now, I like these UV ones because they block out a lot of light and deter um, algae from growing, um, but you can use a clear one um, and just cover it. Um, a lot of people just take a, uh, some aluminum foil and wrap it around the outside. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, algae is uh, attracted to light and light would um, increase the growth of algae and they would start competing with your plant and eventually choke them out, which is why you need to block the light going in. So again, either a really dark jar like this or get um, a clear jar and uh, wrap it around. Now, th this is a wide mouth 64 ounce um, jar. And I like these because, you know, I won't have to change the water out as quickly as it's often and um, the plants will be uh, less disturbed. Uh, now, for something the size that I'm growing, I am going to have to uh, change the water a couple of times. 
Um, you could build a uh, plastic tote of maybe about a uh, two or three gallon and set it up that way. Um, so you don't have to change this often, but this kind of forces me to pay attention to my plant. So I, I, I like using this as well. So what you're gonna do is take an empty net cup, pop that right in, and then you're going to take your solution that you just made and pour it to the point where it's just touching the bottom. I mean, like barely touching it. Okay, that's good there. In fact, let me see if I can get you in so you can see. Look down in there so you can see it's like just barely touching the bottom there. All right. All right. Um, the reason why um, is because the roots have already been established, um, but they've been living in water. So they have not created any, um, any air roots yet. <clears throat> so they're not going to drown, but I don't want to bring it all the way up because I want the roots to start fending for themselves using the um, uh, nutrients versus the soil, uh, the coca core um, that's supporting it to uh, wick it up. I hope that makes sense. All right, so we take the cup out. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let me pan you up just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then... You pop the already established one in. You just throw your roots and all right down in there. Like so. Okay. Bam. Back out so you can really see what's going on here. Okay. So, like so. You got your freshly planted hydroponic, ready to go <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> and that's all that's really to it, guys. Um, you're gonna monitor the plant for growth. You're gonna monitor the uh, water levels here. Um, as the plant grows, um, it's gonna drink up all the water, drink up all the water. And eventually there's gonna be a headspace between where you started the plant and the level of water. In that headspace, the plant is going to develop what they call air roots. And that's where the oxygen comes in. This is the reason why it's called a non-circulating system. Um, you don't have to introduce air into the water because by design, the plant itself is going to throw out air roots and breathe through those while still having the roots down in the water, lower, lower roots down into the water and drink up the nutrients. Um, you want this to run all the way down, all the way down, all the way, all the way down. Um, the reason why is that if you keep topping it off, you're going to um, increase the concentration of the nutrients and that will give you the nutrient lockup that I spoke about in my earlier video that I will put a... Uh, I think it's over there <laughs> somewhere in here i'll put a link to you that's going to explain that um but once it runs dry uh, to the very very bottom then you're gonna get you a new jar change your nutrients to put that in there nice clean jar put your nutrients in there fill it up to about say maybe two-thirds of the way because you don't want to drown your plant now that it has air roots and um let it grow from there and that's how you do this. And then you like dump this out, uh, clean it up, of course, disinfect it and all that and um, get it ready for either another plant or leave it open. So when you make your next change of water, pop it out, pop it in. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, guys. Um, so that is how you uh, put your plant in hydroponic solution. And there you have it, guys. That's how you set up your cracky system. Um, we are ready to 
go. We should see some progress here really soon. Um, hopefully within a couple of weeks, we should start seeing some flowers and then eventually some fruit. So um, we will be checking in and I hope you come back to check the progress on what we've started here. This is gonna be really cool. So uh, I hope you guys will come back and check in on us. And uh, on that note, I will see you on the flip side. I love you guys. Take care.